Guys, today I'm gonna to tell you about our 1994 Toyota Supra Turbo. We purchased it sight unseen and thought it was in good condition, but we found a few surprises. So we built a thousand horsepower 2JZ with nitrous, imported a wide body kit from England, and transformed the car into a modern day Fast and Furious tribute car. The car debuted at SEMA just a few months ago, but that's not where the story ends. We've been prepping the car for some serious drag racing. Let's take you back to the beginning of the story. Roll the clip. This is our car. This is it. What the hell is this, bro? 94, 94 Supra Turbo. Six speed manual. So we bought this car sight unseen. This was a trade-in to a dealership. Pop the hood. 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 Shoot! Oh, yeah. yeah. Two JZ engine, yeah. no shit. Turbo. Told you. you Single know, turbo. This will dominate all if we put about 15 grand in it or more, and if we have to, overnight parts from Japan. Overnight parts from throttle. Say it again. Two. Uh, <laughs> Overnight parts from throttle. <laughs> now, how we purchased this car sight unseen was actually very easy by using Autotempest.com. Here at Throttle, we all love and use Autotempest, whether we're looking for a personal car, a new project build, or a sweepstakes car. The great thing about Autotempest is they scour the internet from dealerships, private sellers, and pretty much every other website where they take all the listings, compile them into one neat, very presentable package so you can easily find the car that you're looking for, which means all the cars in one search. For example, if you're trying to find your own Toyota Supra, you will find listings from Carvana, True Cars, Cars.com, and many other major used car sites. This takes car shopping to a whole new level and keeps online searching simple. So a huge thank you to Autotempest for sponsoring today's video. If you guys are in the market for your own car, head over to autotempest.com. Now let's get the Supra in the garage on a lift and so we can start tearing into it. something's wrong with our table. Uh, well, it has, I'm saying wrong, but it's definitely under, oh yeah, it's pretty bad. It has a lot of shaft plate. I don't know if you can see in there. A lot of shaft plate. Yeah, but. Sounds like a Friday night. But that's uh, more than what you want to see in your turbo. Whoa, Ooh. that's our oil? Uh, oh, that's kind of milky, buddy. Uh, that's that's that I, kind of sus. I found our coolant. <laughs> that ain't <laughs> ever seen oil I got in my life. There are three reasons you have oil in the coolant. First one is the head gasket went bad. No, God! Second one is the cylinder head cracked. No, God, please, no! Third one is the block cracked. No! Oh, I was feeling really good about this until right now. I'm removing the early 2000s out of this beautiful Supra. 1999 technology. Wow, what is that thing? Look at this thing. This is a uh, gauge controller. This is a low boost boost controller. And then we have a turbo timer over here. 
It's turbo crunch. Yeah. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the Throttle YouTube channel and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss a thing. from VAD Aero, and this is our Speedwell's wide body kit. We've been waiting on this thing for a little while now. Let me get a hammer and a cr uh, crowbar. Yeah. and Quinn did a great job knocking out the fender flares. Well, I guess they're not really fender flares. Wheel they're runners. wheel well, metal wheel well, custom metal wheel wells for the rear quarter pound. We went ahead and seam sealed that all up as you guys saw and it's ready to go off to Big East Customs where they're gonna start laying down the bodywork no. and a fresh coat of paint, which I'm excited about. Once you guys see the paint color, you're gonna know exactly what we're up to. Yeah. This is gonna be amazing. <laughs> asking what color this is. This is actually Lamborghini Gallardo orange. That orange looks just like it did in the movie. We have a pile of all new parts here for the Supra, including everything we need to do a full rebuild on the engine. We have a 2JZ GT Heat from our Mark IV Supra on the stand here, and we're about to start tearing into this thing. We're gonna be doing a full engine rebuild on this. JZ GTE Super Engine is completely torn down. We have a lot of work to do. We already have all the parts to make this car capable of over a thousand horsepower, so let's get started on rebuilding this motor.
rotating assembly is together, everything looks good, everything feels really smooth. Everything is ready to go. We're about to drop our cylinder head on. This thing looks absolutely beautiful. Both of these actually are a piece of art. We have a OEM Toyota head gasket we're gonna be running, which is this guy here. Rotated our crank twice. Everything stayed where it was. Everything is timed, which is good. So now we can start putting uh, our covers back on. W-V3s. They ride amazing. And over here on this side of the table, we've got a bunch of parts from my friend Alex Pfeiffer, who owns a company called Battle Version. It is time to move on to the next step, which is our brake system. We have our extreme brake rotors with our Rad Industries hats, our four piece and caliper from Whitwood as well. They also send our high performance pads. Wiring 
harness for the engine got here. This is a Rywire and Rad Dan Industries collab harness for the Haltech Elite. I'm gonna open this up, start laying everything out, and then we can get this engine harness set up. This is our Haltech Elite 2500. This is an absolute unit of an ECU, and this is what's gonna be controlling our 2JZ, and it has a lot of really cool functions, and this is what's gonna allow us to run drive-by wire. And then we'll make a nice little beautiful mount, and this is gonna sit somewhere like that. So we have our IC7 here, so this is gonna replace the factory cluster with the beautiful digital dash display. We got our battery electrical system finished. We're gonna key it on and see if the hall tech turns on. It should. And our IC7 is firing up. Sick. Yeah, look at that. All yeah. of our dime lines are here, as well as the fittings that we needed to get to make all this stuff work properly on our 2JZ. And now we get to start plumbing. I'm gonna start on our intercooler piping. Traditionally, these cars, the intercooler piping goes down inside the frame rail, but because the angle that Plasma Man put on their intake manifold and where the throttle body lands up, it's easier for us to do it more like a 240SX where you actually drill a hole in this location right here, which is our traditional battery location, but we're gonna be moving that somewhere else. So we're gonna use that. We're gonna 45 out, 90 down, and drop it out the bottom. And as you guys can see, I already have our tight 90 radius on here, and that's gonna go straight back to a 90 here and up to the bottom. And we'll be good to go. All right, starting to work on our downpipe for this car. This is a four inch downpipe. So what we're gonna do is create a few pie cuts. Uh, that's what I'm kind of doing here. So what I'll be able to do is kind of rotate these pie cuts as needed to get this thing kicked around tightly, but not restricting the flow. We're on the phone with Sean from Tuned by Sean. Ricky's getting the laptop set up so we can get him on and start messing with the hall tech. He's got a base map already set up. You guys ready? Yep. Our graphics 
graphics. So we reached out to Modern Image who did the original graphics for the movie cars. And then again this year, they provided us with the Troy Lee Designs graphic that was on the actual movie car. So this is 100% authentic. Moving on to the roll cage, it is that time. We have everything ready to go. I'm gonna start with the front side, which is a two pose. And from there, we'll move our way back with the other two poles, and we'll have our four pose roll cage installed. It is time to get started on the headlights. And in front of me, I have a huge table of Morimoto parts for us to custom build the inside of these headlights. Finished drilling and tapping all of our holes in the intake manifold for our nitrous fogger. So this is a wet kit, so it has a port for nitrous and a port for fuel. So these are NPT and they actually provided the tap for them, which is really nice. So we're gonna get them set up. the lines that are gonna run from the bottles up to the engine bay. We have two nitrous solenoids here. One of them is the actual nitrous solenoid that'll put nitrous into the engine. The other one is a purge solenoid. So we're gonna run our lines, get everything wired up, and then we're gonna have nitrous purge and we'll have nitrous in there. Just got done installing all the carbonetic stash and this thing looks insane. Our boys from Carbonetics were able to give us a turnaround in just a few days, which is amazing. Absolute beautiful piece. It's another carbon fiber, full carbon fiber drive shaft. Love this thing, we're gonna toss this in. Thank you. 
right, I'm installing the most important part on the Supra. I'm just kidding. That is not this the is, most important. This is the easiest part to install. This is what I'm gonna be installing today, which is the steering wheel. You can't find the right tool in this garage, Mr. Arizona. You can't find the right tool in this garage, Mr. Arizona. You don't belong near a car. <laughs> You don't belong anywhere near a car. <laughs> Yo, how many doors are you gonna open, dude? Car is done. Car is done, boys. Our Mark IV Supra is finished. Know, One bro. day before the car leaves for SEMA. What I a know. freaking, what a ride this was. This was an extremely fun build. It was also a pretty fast build. We built this entire yeah. car in less than a month, so. Two cars, <laughs> which you will see. All right, so the car is finally off the trailer. It is time for us to get in and start it up and drive it to our booth. We're doing it, baby. We're this is the it. first time we're driving this car ever. Yay. It's literally gone outside for pictures and into the trailer. This is like fresh, no breaking in, no nothing, and she's performing excellent. Yeah! 